In this video, we're going to take a look at the Infragistics app map, which allows you to lay out your entire Xamarin Forms application using a familiar Microsoft Visio style diagram interface. You can design your apps in minutes by dragging and dropping pages, child relationships, and navigation onto our design surface in the app map. Essentially, you're taking what you would have on your whiteboard and you're designing it directly in Visual Studio and then we will generate all of the views, view models, and navigation code based on a best practice Prism MVVM architecture. So this really makes getting your mobile apps created very easy. So let's go ahead and get started. When you install Infragistics Ultimate UI for Xamarin and you do a file new project, you'll see in the Infragistics node in the Visual Studio templates tree, a Xamarin Forms options for app map. So we'll leave the default here to app map project one and I'll just click OK. The first thing we're prompted with is the Infragistics project wizard, which gives us our options for the type of project we want in our solution, either Android or iOS. For this application, I'm just going to create an Android app. Now, keep in mind, I did mention that we are generating Prism code. Prism requires a container for the application. The default container is Unity, but there's also other container options that we include, or you can add your own container option. So I'm going to go ahead, take my defaults here, and click Create Project. Now I'm presented with the Xamarin Forms app map. On the left-hand side, you'll see we have a toolbox, which has the page types mapped directly to the Xamarin Forms page types. We have the relationships, which maps to what's included in Prism for navigation. On the right hand side we have some code generation options and a properties window for some of the properties that you can change on the pages or the relationship. So let's go ahead and get started. If I think about my whiteboard and I'm building out my mobile app, I always start with a login page. I might have a new user page. So this is typical. Now I want to have a link between these two so I can navigate from the login to the new user and back. So I simply drag a navigates to relationship and that just happens for me automatically through the app map. I have some options here as well. I can set this as a toolbar item, as a different style modal navigation. Prism has a tri-state here and then I can also wrap this in a navigation page and we'll talk about that in a second. So now let's drag a master detail out. What we've done here is when you drag a master detail, we actually add for you several child windows just for ease of use. Normally you have multiple pages in your application. So instead of you having to drag and drop those, we auto generate them. You'll also notice this special icon on our navigation relationship. That icon is indicating that these pages are wrapped in a navigation page, which means we get the hamburger menu in our master detail, which is super convenient for navigation. So we generate all of that for you. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a name. This will be my home page. And these guys here, we're going to call customers. And this will be orders. And this will be called our newsfeed. Now there's one other type of page I want to show you, which is the tab page. So I'm going to drag this tab page out and it's the same deal. You'll notice that I have some child pages on my tab page, actually content pages, and those have in the navigation uh, the child order property, which you can customize as well through the properties editor. Now in order to get from my, let's say, orders to this tab page, I can simply again drag out a navigation and that gets generated for me. Now, if I go back here to my login, you'll notice there's no way to get from the login to the master detail. Well, what Prism gives us is a special type of navigation called an absolute navigation. And this is interesting because it resets the navigation stack on the hardware, which will not let the application go back to a page that you don't want it to go back to. So when, once you log in, you never really want to go back to that login page. So we can use an absolute navigation relationship to make sure that that doesn't happen. So I'm happy with this layout. You'll notice I can zoom in and out with my mouse. I can hold the control key and drag. So I have a fairly complex layout here. I'm going to go ahead and generate this app map and this will create my portable class library and my Android app.
Now my application is created. You'll notice that my solution, I have my app map project, I have my portable class library, which includes my view model base, all of the view models and all of the views. If we take a look at any of these views, you'll notice that the code that is auto generated is what you would expect along with the binding to the navigation commands which are all registered with PRISM in your app XAML CS. So all of this was auto-generated. So let's go ahead and run this application now to see how it actually looks in the emulator. So I'm going to go ahead and right click. I'm going to set the Droid project as my startup and I'm going to go ahead and hit run and we'll take a look at this once it starts in the emulator. Our application is started in the emulator. You'll notice we have our login screen and I can click on my new user button which takes me to my new user page. I can go back to my login screen. Once we have a successful login, the home would get activated and now I'm here on my customers page. You'll notice that there's no back button for me to go to the login screen but I do have my hamburger menu which has my customers orders and news feeds. So if I, if I click orders you'll see that here's my orders page. If I click news feed I have my news feed if I go back to orders you notice that I had my tab page so if I click tabbed I have my page here which has my children and I can always go back and I'm back here at the main screen which I can go back to my customers so you can see that we've generated all these pages all of the navigation in a best practices prism application for Xamarin forms that will really accelerate your Xamarin Forms development and get your projects kick-started in no time with the Infragistics Xamarin Forms app map.